Hi everyone, this is May again and welcome back to my channel, Fanotation. Today's video is one I've been really looking forward to filming. This was probably the most interesting James-related trip that I've had so far. James was the catalyst and sort of the center of this whole event, but he doesn't appear at all in my video. But I hope that you will stick around. I'm sorry if you're hearing a lot of noise in the background. Some of my neighbors must be having some work done on their homes because there's a huge racket outside and I can't really control it. In 2018, James' family decided to organize a gatin ceremony at Wat Pao Thai in Pizzanulo. The gatin ceremony is where they present robes to the monks at the end of the Buddhist Lent and it is a very big and quite grand ceremony. And because James attended, of course, droves of fans turned out so Metai was organizing a smaller ceremony called a papa at the same temple. When Inka told me about this trip, I said yes with no hesitation at all. I'd always been very fascinated by Thai religion and culture, and I wanted to be part of a real religious ceremony. In the process of planning for the trip, every single time that Inka spoke to me, she would remind me, Pime, James is not going to be there. Remember, he's not going to be there. And I kept telling her, yes, I know. And in fact, I wanted to go precisely because James was not there and I'll tell you why at the end of the video. Our first stop was Pichit, James' hometown. We were there to visit the Pichit Provincial Hospital and to meet Metai because the fan clubs had raised 200,000 baht which they were presenting to the hospital in James' name. The hospital staff were very gracious and they fed us cake and a blue pea drink and they seemed to be quite amused at this whole big group of uh, ladies wearing our Kondi Kong James G t-shirts visiting their hospital. We continued on our journey and made our way to Wat Pao Thai. The area around the temple is very green and it's full of flowers and it's on the mountainside, has beautiful views. So of course, all the fans took advantage of this to take nice pictures, take selfies, take group pictures and to take pictures with James' family. This time, we stayed in a really cute homestay area. This is one of those places I would never be able to find on my own. Later that evening, there was another short ceremony at the temple. So some of the fans went over to support her while the rest of us stayed in to prepare dinner for everyone else. Some of us were shelling prawns, others were chopping vegetables. One of the things that I discovered was they had the hugest mosquitoes I've ever seen. By evening, the weather had become very cool because we were up in the mountains. After dinner, the karaoke machine gets cranked up again, but this time really loud. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of how the girls unwind after we had had a very long day. I really admire their exuberance because I'm naturally very self-conscious. I don't like to sing in front of other people, but I told myself that I would learn a few of the Thai songs they were singing because if ever the opportunity comes again, I'm not going to sit by and watch. I'm going to join them the next time. Some of the ladies like to ask, you know, why I like James. And my Thai was so poor at the time that all I could say was, oh, he works so hard, he's very cute, he's very handsome, and I really think I sounded like a bimbo, but I didn't have the vocabulary to say any more. Actually, even now, I'm not sure if I have the vocabulary to explain what I like about James. Because sometimes I have some difficulty explaining to my friends in English as well. The girls brought up a huge stack of money and these were the donations that came from James G fans in Thailand and from around the world. So we proceed to stick the bills into these bamboo skewers that have ribbons around and those will go into the money tree the next morning. When I knew that I was coming for, on this trip, I decided that I would go the whole hog. I would try to blend in as much as possible and I'd seen the pictures of the gatin from 2018 where lots of people wore the traditional Thai garb for visiting a temple, which is a Thai sarong and a light colored blouse. So I get dressed, I feel a little bit awkward, I'm kind of self-conscious, not used to it. And I walk out to meet everyone in the area that where we're preparing everything for the temple. And to my horror, everybody was in jeans and a blouse or a modern dress. So my plan kind of backfired because I planned to wear 
a Thai outfit so I would blend in but now I look like the foreigner who stuck out like a sore thumb. For a moment I really regretted it but they seemed so appreciative because I think to my friends it was a sign that I was respecting their culture which was intentional. It was a healthy big crowd for the occasion and not a James crowd. Matt I was there together with uh, James' grandma and grandpa. James' dad was not present at this ceremony because he had undergone heart surgery. And if I remember correctly, his sister Jip was staying with the father to take care of him. So each of us goes in front of them and then they take out a white string and they sort of like rub it against your wrist as they give you their blessings to be you know healthy to be strong to do well in your job there were three main parts to the uh, papa ceremony the first was the chanting of the prayers and the presentation of the offerings the second part of the ceremony was when they went around the room with this white string they pass it around the room and everybody holds on to a part of the string while the prayers are chanted and at the end of it we break the string and everyone gets to keep a little bit of it. So this is my little bit of the string that I've kept since then. The last part of the ceremony is the pouring of the water. There weren't enough of the little pitchers of water to give out to every person that was present. So they gave it to certain people and then the rest of us sort of held on to each other by the hand or by the shoulder. And then as one of my friends described it, the merit is supposed to pass through you like an electric current. The final tally was slightly over 556 thousand baht which was far beyond her expectations and I remember that Metai's eyes got very red because she was so touched by this outpouring of well wishes and when everything was over she gave the fans who were present a little token of appreciation. I've never taken it out of the plastic bag in case I drop it or lose it. I think one of the reasons I enjoyed this trip so much was precisely because James was not there. I don't know if I have managed to describe it well in my other videos, how it feels when James is around. The fangirls get really hyped up, you know, there's a lot of chasing him around, run to the entrance because James is arriving, and then run to the next spot ahead of him so that you can get good photographs of him, run to the stage, run to the back, run to the car park. It's very frenetic and it's full of energy and there's a lot of adrenaline. And that is a very different energy and one that you can enjoy as well. And sure, it's fun a few times. I'm not really sure how many more times I can do it, but I'll do it for as long as it's fun. But during this trip, everyone was a lot calmer because James was not there. We can provide the support to Metai without, you know, all this craziness. But I, for one, really enjoyed the quieter, more peaceful and more meditative experience. And I will never forget it and I will never regret having gone on this trip. So that's the end of my video on my trip to Pichit and Pitsanulo at the end of a very crazy James G birthday week. If you've enjoyed my video, please let me know. And uh, if you have any questions or any topics you'd like me to talk about, please leave them in the comments below. In the meantime, stay safe everyone. Bye!